with numerous victories in a lot of different racing classes, the Chevy Corvette proves that legends aren't born, they're made. So, the champ is here, let's talk about it. Now, the Corvette C8 is still called the Corvette Stingray, but it looks more like a shark. Luckily, sharks and stingrays are related, and with that pointy nose, that low roof line, and those wide fender arches, you feel like you are a god of power and performance on the road. So, if anybody should roll up to you, you're going to allow them to speed past you because in reality, you'll be able to blow their doors off anytime you want. Now, speaking of power and performance, what is the power rating on this car? Well, you get 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. Put that in perspective, a Cadillac Escalade is designed for people hauling and moving big and heavy things around. That vehicle is rated for 420 horsepower. This is nearly 500 horsepower and it could fit two people. So performance, check. Oh, and by the way, I am a real sales consultant here in Orlando, so if you happen to need a new Genesis, a new Hyundai, or whatever pre-owned car that we have, make sure you click that discount link below, because if you make an appointment with me and get any car that I have here on the lot, I'm giving you a $500 discount just because you clicked it. But let's get back to the Corvette. Now, there are a lot of performance vehicles out there that have been winning many races on different continents like the Corvette, so you would expect it to be quite impractical, but that couldn't be further from the truth because the Chevy Corvette is built to be a daily driver. Even though the C8 Corvette is the first Corvette to actually have the engine sitting behind the driver, you actually do still have a trunk in the rear that is pretty wide and pretty long, and Chevy says you could actually fit a couple golf bags in the back of this version, and that is not including the front because yes, there is also a front trunk for any other needs that you might have. I'll give it to you, it is not a station wagon, but for what it is, it is incredible. Now on the interior, you still do have a good amount of space in the vehicle, but as you can see, the car seems to be divided into two distinct sections. The passenger seat and the driver's seat, and that is because the Corvette has the central spine that allows you to control the various air conditioning functions. Now, although I'm sure there are some auto snobs out there that see the eighth generation Corvette as a moonshine flavor Ferrari, you have to notice that the Corvette has always embraced technology which makes life so easy for the driver. One of those is the heads-up display because as you're driving forward, you can see the digital speed projected onto the glass so you can maintain total focus on the road ahead. Something surprising, as I was driving forward, I felt that the car had very little blind spots. Now that the driver's seat is actually in front of the engine, you have very good visibility of the road ahead. But when I went to go and reverse park it, I felt a little nervous because I know the rear is pretty wide, but thankfully, this car actually had these parking cameras to help me stay between the lines as I reverse parked, and whether you're driving forward or backwards, you still do have the digital rear view mirror so you can see exactly what's behind you without having to worry about that big old tennis court looking area where the engine and the trunk are. Now, this vehicle happens to be the 3LT, and a dead giveaway that is 3LT are the seats and the suede, because only the 3LT has the GT2 racing seats, and the suede on the dash, the doors, and the headliner. Not only is it special enough to sit in a 3LT Corvette, but something else special about this car is that this one happens to be the convertible version. So, if you have a beautiful day outside and really want to enjoy that weather, in 16 seconds, that roof comes off and you are enjoying the beautiful breeze as you're cruising around town. And something else about having that top off is that you have an unfiltered sound of that Corvette V8. So yeah, even if you don't wanna wear tube socks and new balances, you should definitely check out the Corvette because this thing is a monster. And finally guys, I wanna end on this because not only is it the 3LT convertible, but this 2023 model marks the 70 year anniversary of the Chevrolet Corvette. So seven decades of development and racing and street applications went in to crowning this new thing, the heir of the Corvette throne. And I cannot wait to see what Chevy does with this platform, especially when they introduce that Zora. But guys, if you like the videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell notification to be alerted to the newest videos as soon as they're uploaded. But until next time, I'm a Gary Car Guy, and I'll see you soon. Chevy says you could probably skip, stick. The Chevy Corvette proves that legends, blah, not necessarily the passenger. So even though the passenger could titch the radio, could titch the radio.